Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flater Mouse. Recently we put magnesium shavings in the powder of a shotgun shell and it made these huge flashes and fireballs and sparks. It was really cool. So many viewers were saying, hey, you should make a magnesium tracer slug. So I put a big blob of hot glue at the base of a LBC Sabo slug. And then I packed the magnesium shavings into the molten glue. And that's about all I did. It's a really simple idea. And it should work because the other ones work so well, right? We'll see. Dead center. Oh, it gave up. So not only did it not tracerize or, or ignite, the, uh, the lead slug actually separated from the plastic wadding that normally flies along with it. Now in the first video, we had a 100% success rate. Everyone created a giant fireball, but we're not having so much luck this time. One take. Now normally the LPC Sabo slugs are very accurate and he was about an inch and a half off from hitting the tape that was on the plate. So let's have a closer look at and see what happened this time. Now as you can see, you can see the two Sabo halves flying off, but you can also see the lead slug and the plastic wadding flying separately. Another failure and it didn't ignite again. Let's try a totally different slug design. This one was sent to me from Russia by Alexei. Now once again, no ignition of the magnesium. Now in the first video, a lot of commenters were saying, oh, you should use a solid magnesium slug or mix it with uh, wax or something like that. And we're not even having ignition doing it this way so you can imagine trying to get a big old chunk lit I'm ready now this is the LBC Sabo again the red slug and we found the wadding stuck in the arm of the bear but he did hit it directly in the center of the chest with the slug the lead part now we normally never have any issues with these LBC Sabos. They usually are, are very accurate and they don't fall apart like this. Now what's really interesting here is the lead slug is flying perfectly stable and the wadding is also flying stable. They're both flying about the same velocity too. Really weird stuff there. But once again, no ignition. What do you got there? We got uh, Colt Airsoft BBs and if anyone can guess how many BBs are in this jar? You win a prize. Wow. That was pretty good. If I'm not doing something wrong, then we're doing something wrong, right? Well, once again, no ignition. Five failures out of five tries. And normally, even I'm not that unlucky. And as you can see, once again, the wadding and the lead slug separated again so apparently whatever effect the magnesium has on this it, it's causing the slug and the wadding to separate but no ignition so let's do a little quick post analysis here since we did find a couple of the red plastic waddings where I put the magnesium shavings with the hot glue you might have thought oh it just blasted it all out but it the hot glue held but as you can see there's a lot of surface area there but for whatever reason, it just wasn't enough to ignite. I wish my family had insurance. I could have got the best help available. With empty cans of paint. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right, low budget Sarkeesian tribute. <laughs> Two cans of spray paint with this Glock 19 shotgun. <laughs> Rigo, where are you, Rigo? Rigo, don't eat the paint. Here we go. I don't know what happened. <laughs> 